This sound file contains a spoken version of a Wikipedia article on undercover cops, recorded by user acatha 96 The material recorded is current, as of the 30th December 2010. Undercover Cops, from Wikipedia, the Free Encyclopedia, at en.wikipedia.org. Undercover Cops is an arcade-style beat-em-up video game by Irem. It is Irem's first attempt in the modern beat-em-up genre that was founded by Capcom's Final Fight. A few years later after its release, a lot of the team, artists, programmers, composers, designers, etc., who made the game, went on to form Nazca, who created the Metal Slug game series. The team have also worked on the Hammer and Harry series, Superior Soldiers, In the Hunt, and Gun Force 2. In Japan, the game inspired a little-known series of underground comics due to its brief popularity. The rest of the article is split into five sections. The first deals with the game's gameplay, including playable characters and bosses. The second includes information about regional differences. The third related releases. The fourth contains a list of references. And the fifth contains external links. Gameplay Players control city sweepers who fight crime by beating up thugs in the New York City of the year 2043. The video game is notable for its detailed backgrounds and grimy, futuristic settings. For its time, it was relatively gory, featuring Kropex skeletons in the midst of its urban wastelands and forcing players to lose a life by being crushed by a garbage compactor during the first boss battle. While the gameplay is inspired by Capcom's final fight, some of the enemies are unique. Besides the usual human thugs, players fight strange mole creatures and mutants with jetpacks and blades for hands. Players can never use enemy weapons, but the stages contain objects that can be picked up and used, such as burning oil drums, steel girders, long concrete columns that shatter an impact, boxes of hand grenades, and fish. The characters eat mice, frogs, birds, and snails to restore their health. Many people in Japanese society eat these for their nutritional value. Playable characters. Claude, known in Japan as San Takahara, a scruffy Japanese former karate master, banned from formal tournaments after killing a man in self-defense. He is a well-rounded character and is similar in effect to Rosa. He has the ability to shoot multiple fireballs. Bubba, known in Japan as Matt Gables. An American ex Garidian player turned sw city sweeper after a false accusation of murder. He is the most powerful but slowest character. However, he has the ability to run for a short period of time. Also, he can drive through the ground when he uses his airborne attack. Flame, known in Japan as Rosa Felmond. A tough British blonde female vigilante whose lover was murdered by thugs. She's the fastest and easiest character to use. She can send surrounding waves of energy if surrounded by enemies. Bosses. Cue ball, known in Japan as Parks. A Terminator-like cyborg. He is the only boss that can be defeated normally, or crushed in a garbage compactor. Fatso, known in Japan as Fransaurus, an obese, jackhammer-wielding dominatrix. She summons lesser enemies and cries when hit. When her life bar is half empty, she bawls loudly. Gun puncher, known in Japan as Morgulin Beta, the heavily armed leader of the mole creatures who utters simple Japanese phrases. He is armed with a machine gun and explosives. Conehead, known in Japan as Balbaroch, a crazed carnival freak with a metal claw. 
he attacks with a wide range of concealed weapons. Dr. Crayborn, a small, respectable scientist who turns into a giant monster. He is the main antagonist in the game and is confronted at the end of the final stage. Regional differences. The Japanese arcade version differs from the world version in several respects. The characters have a number of moves not seen in the world version, including dash and jump attacks, up to two different kinds of throws, and a more powerful airborne special attack. The backgrounds and graphics are also different, especially at the start of level 2 and the end of level 3. The music in the Japanese version has a more electronic feel and includes more voice samples. Some enemies can carry broken bottles, knives and axes, but in the world version these are replaced by planks and clubs. The mole creatures are weaker, taking only one hit to kill. Players jump attacks do less damage, but their wider range of attacks make them much more versatile. Related releases Undercover Cops later got a Game Boy spin-off titled Undercover Cops Gaiden Hakushin Garuma and a more accurate translation called Undercover Cops Alpha, which retains the details of the original arcade version. Undercover Cops was later ported to Super Famicom by the company Bayery. An American localization was planned, but later cancelled. The unreleased American version was reviewed in Volume 58 of Nintendo Power. In the Super Famicom version, the player can adjust the number of lives and credits, as well as the skill setting. However, there is no two-player mode. Playing easy mode only gets the player to the end of the third level. Then the game ends, giving the player a stern message in Japanese, then asking him in English to try the next level, normal. This is followed by the game over screen, just as if they had lost the game. Undercover Cops also got its own Magna, authorised by Waita Yuziga. The appearances and functions of the police car, seen at the end of Undercover Cops, exactly resembles the appearance and functions of the tank from Moon Patrol, another arcade game by Irem. The boss from Stage 1 of the first R-Type game, also by Irem, can be seen on the screens of some red television sets. Undercover Cops was later advertised on a blimp seen in the arcade flyers of Irem's second modern beat-em-up, Ninja Baseball Batman. There are references available in the written form of this article. Please be sure to verify information found on Wikipedia using the references provided or cross-referencing the information yourself. The last section of the article contains external links. To view these external links, please access the online version of the article using the link provided at the start of this recording. The article is also accompanied by an info box which briefly summarises the content of the article. At the top is an image of a Japanese arcade flyer of undercover cops. The developer and publisher is both listed as the company Irem. The platforms for the arcade Super NES and Game Boy. The release date in Japan was 1992. The genre was beat em up. The modes were single player and multiplayer, up to two players. The media was a cartridge, suit for the Super NES and Game Boy versions. The cabinet was horizontal. The arcade system was the Irem M-92 system hardware. CPU V33 at 9 MHz, V30 at 7.15909 MHz. The sound was Y52151 at 3.57945 MHz and GA20 at 3.579545 MHz. The display was raster at 320 times 240 pixels, 60.00 Hz, 2048 colours. 
This now concludes the audio recording of the Wikipedia article Undercover Cops, available at en.wikipedia.org. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike License 3.0 Unported, available at http colon slash slash creativecommons.org slash licenses slash by hyphen sa slash 3.0.